Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a Bedford ginger beer. And I did the uh, review at John's place. My buddy John's. We, I was there this Saturday night. And uh, there's a whole bunch of story on uh, the thing I wanted to read because it fascinated me. And this is uh, out of uh, Port Angeles, Washington. The original Northwest Soda Company. Bedford's uh, non-alcoholic ginger beer. Enjoy straight or as a mixture with your favorite spirit. Made with brewed ginger root. And this was... I couldn't remember the price. Guys said Christmas tree shops. I haven't been there in a while. For $3.99. Kai, when I did, uh, I did a little bit of uh, splurging at some of the place for snacks and drinks and stuff in case the weather gets real bad. You know, you never know around this area. And it's made uh, sweetened with pure cane sugar as opposed to pure undertaker sugar. And it has uh, no, it's no alcoholic. Oh, it's Orca from Orca Beverage right here too. Right here, Orca Beverage. And uh, information said Bedford ginger beer is produced in small batches using traditional methods. They incorporate the brewing and steeping, steeping of real ginger root. This process creates a distinctive and spicy ginger drink. That is more flavorful than the mass-produced brands commonly found on store shelves. Bedford's ginger beer is best enjoyed as an individual spirit, uh, beverage or mixer, uh, with your favorite spirit. See our website for a list of delicious ginger cocktail drinks made with Bedford's ginger beer. Awesome. And also, on here it says uh, the story behind... Uh, Bedford's ginger beer right here, and it's a little bit longer. Okay. That's what fascinated me, because I wanted to read this. I thought it'd be interesting. Ed Bedford created this line of sodas in 1984, known for their distinctive flavors. The sodas quickly became a Northeast favorite. Ed's drinks were available in nearly all major grocery stores and restaurants in the Pacific Northwest. As the company continued to grow, additional production and capital infusions were needed to allow expansion beyond the Northwest. Ed sold his controlling interest in the company with the hope that more customers would be able to enjoy his distinctive sodas. Not long after the change, it was obvious that Bedford's brand uh, needed its namesake back at the helm. In 2009, Ed acquired his former shares and began the process of rebuilding the company. With new strategic production and marketing divisions in place, the Bedford's brand is now available in over 30 states. I thank for purchasing my distinctive ginger beer, and I welcome your correspondence through my website at uh, Beds uh, for Sodas and stuff like that. And that's the guy signature Washington. And I thank you for watching this video. Now, here comes the review, and I hope you enjoy it. At John's place. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review Bedford's non-alcoholic ginger beer. I got this from uh, Christmas tea shops. A thing of form I believe was $3.99 and it says sweetened with pure cane sugar as opposed to pure undertaker sugar and you know it's <coughs> not like a holic right there it's a bottle cap and it's from uh, Fort Angeles Washington try it out see if it's any good and they got information on uh, carrier I'll probably read that at, at my place alright see how good it is That's good and spicy. I like that real well. It leaves a good burn in the throat. Yeah, this sounds really good. I give it a 9.5 out of 10 for Bedford Ginger Beer. I'll be back. Well, at the very beginning of the video, I'll probably just do some extra info on the side of the box. But this is really good. Not my buddy John's place and reviewing it. So. Right now, right at that point, you get the burn in your throat it's delicious so nine and a half out of ten for bedford's ginger beer and until next time bye please take care of my legion okay.
So I hope you like these videos from John's Place. Let's see. Sound effects. Special effects. Key.